right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Kareem Abdul Jabbar I... to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Running out of Beijing, China, Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight to end the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. That was a thudding leg kick. Beautiful punch. Oh, single collar tie here. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. And they separate. Big leg kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. Now connects with the right. Big kick. Nice head kick. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. 
Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, tagged him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Immediately gets the underhook. Nice. Just missed with the left there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, big punch land. Able to land a combination there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. And if you like Boy Tai, you like me, strikes, that was the round for you. Yeah, that was a great round. You can see how well-versed he is in using all weapons that are available to him. He hits elbows, he uses punches, kicks, but his knees have improved to the point that he can dictate and control the round by using just those. All right, DC, here we go as our next round gets underway. And if you like Muay Thai striking, and if you like knees, that previous round was the one for you. He does such a phenomenal job of getting into position to find his knees, whether he has an underhook, whether he has a collar tie, whether he's in the tie push. He just finds positions to drive those knees into his opponent's body or his legs. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Ooh, what a punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Liver kick. Take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. A good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Ooh, big shot lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big power shot there. Another strike to the body. Not a lot of real oh. estate there, but he found it. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Nice counter left hook. <laughs> caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Beautiful strike. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Clean left punch followed by the right. 
Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Jockeying for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Oh, big knees! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, single collar tie now. Effective punch there by Lee. And that one certainly found the target. Again, working off that beautiful jab, he continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hit him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Nice kick. Andy lands the knee to the body now. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. What a punch. Wow. A single collar tie there. Punch is blocked. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Lee. Left hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. Plus right hand is true. Ten seconds remain in round two. Nice kick. How good is that right hand? All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of martial arts. Right hand punch to the clinch. Leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Muay Thai plump. Oh, nice high kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. 
I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. It's a good right hand right there. Nice head kick. Oh, collar tie. And he switches his stance yet again. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, single collar tie here. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. It's nice defense there. Huge block. Nice, nice right hand. <laughs> Look at the whip action that comes from him. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Just out of range with that strike. Just a slip there. Punch over the top. Watch the shot. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Beautiful body kick. Right under the elbow. Straight right hand, no good. Nice body kick. He blocks the punch. Nice looping punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice knee to the body there. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, big point usage of the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and certainly making it count in this matchup tonight. Right punches there. Oh, nice job avoiding the damage from that elbow. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Head kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice. Right oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, beautiful level change. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. You touch it because you're dropping your hands. You need to go back to the game plan, just like you practiced. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Combinations here. He's done, he's done! <laughs> a 
near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 37 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.